Hey guys, are you an avid fan of RGB? Let's have a quick review and unboxing of the Asus ROG Terminal. Let's get straight into it. Let's get started. This is the box that I have received. Let's go right ahead and open it up. Here's the Asus ROG Terminal. It features 4 ports for controlling up to 210 addressable RGB LEDs. A power button, a micro USB port, and a 5x2.2mm power port. Other things in the box includes a manual, Asus stickers, Two pieces of 30 cm ROG magnetic ARGB strips and a 60 cm ROG magnetic ARGB strips. A 45 watt power adapter. Two pieces of ROG cable ties. A DC to Molex cable. A micro USB to USB 2 Type A data cable. 3 pieces of 5 cm of 3M double-sided tape and 3 pieces of adjustable LED extension cable and a micro USB to 9-pin header data cable. Here's a preview of all the items in the box. It's totally worth the price in my opinion as this terminal gives you a lot of flexibility in terms of how you want to connect or use this for your lighting needs. If you need further information about ARGB connectors, you may click on the information button on the top right corner of this video. I will also add the video link in the description section below so you can check it out. Alright, it's time to light it up. In this part, I am using the 45 watt adapter to power on the terminal so we can test if it's working. I will be using the LED extension cables that came with the product since the LED strip that came with it is using the JST connector type. Okay, as you can see, the terminal is in good condition strips and the terminal itself powers on. One of the cool things about the terminal is it also has an RGB built on it. The terminal itself has a power button not only to turn it on but also to change the lighting effects. There are five native lighting effects such as rainbow, comet, starry night, static, and off. The terminal has flexible mounting and power options with adhesive strips or standard 2.5 inch mounting holes and USB or Molex power options. There are two methods to set up the terminal. It can be inside the chassis or outside the chassis. So externally, use the micro USB to USB 2 type A cable. Internally, you will use a DC to Molex cable to power it on and the micro USB to 9 pin header data cable. To customize the lighting effects, it is required to use its new Armory Create software downloadable via the ASUS website. I'm an avid fan of RGB, especially the adjustable ones. Since I do want to light up my PC with lots of LEDs, I personally need an RGB terminal or hub that can handle all RGB consistently and everything can be controlled all at the same time. And I guess the ASUS ROG terminal does the job. The software itself has unique effects including music, adapt adaptive color, starry night, strobing, color cycle, rainbow, and in-game lighting effects, which is nice. You can also adjust speed and brightness. To add, this terminal can be used in any motherboard with or without an RGB LED header. I am currently using a gigabyte board, connecting it either on the USB port externally or 9-pin USB port on your motherboard, it works well. So now, let's have a quick preview on how I set it up on my chassis. Let's have a look.
so there you have it just to add i have been using this controller for more than two months now and so far there are no issues to encounter with all the other controls that i have reviewed in the past the asus rog terminal for me is the most premium and flexible controller especially made for pcs Although the only feedback that I have is the Armory Crate software needs more improvement in terms of adding more lighting effects. So if you like this video, please don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.